Hey guys, today's video is going to be a little story time on how I sprained my pinky twice and now it looks like this. It's actually stuck. So this is what it normally, I mean this is what it looked like before and now I can't, like I physically can't straighten it unless I push it. So it is actually healed at this point, it just healed like this unfortunately, but we'll I'll explain in this story. So a few months ago, um, it was like the end of March. I had a flat tire. I drove over a nail. So I pulled over and I was waiting for roadside assistance to come help me change the tire. So while I was waiting, I went to my trunk and I got the spare tire out. And as I was taking the spare tire out, my hand slipped and my pinky basically got stuck between the spare tire and my trunk. And so the spare actually like fell onto my pinky and it got jammed and it bent it backwards like pretty hard it was it hurt it hurt a lot it was one of those I was like I was trying not to make a scene because I was outside in public but it hurt you know like when you stub your little toe like if you're walking around and you stub your little toe on something it's like that kind of pain but you know on my uh, my pinky so it it hurt really really bad anyway so at that point I figured my pinky was sprained. It got pretty swollen. It was pretty painful for a couple of days, but nothing crazy, you know, some swelling. And then a few days after that, like later that week, it started to go down. So I'm like, okay, you know, it'll be okay. It, it should heal just fine. I'll be good to go. So I dance, I break, I do a lot of stuff on the ground where I use my hands. I'm putting a lot of pressure on my hands and I continued dancing while my pinky was still sprained and I knew that I knew that wasn't smart that wasn't the best idea but you know sometimes as dancers we make the mistake of not taking care of our injuries and I did have friends telling me you know you really should try to stay off your hand and let your your injury completely heal you need to take care of it and I did on and off but not enough that's the thing it started to feel better it started to look better so I continued to use it thinking oh you know it'll be just fine I did wrap it I did tape like my ring finger and my pinky together every time I would dance every time I would be using my hand a lot you know to try and protect it but it just it just wasn't enough for what I do you know and there were times I would accidentally hit my hand on the ground with the injured pinky and it would cause it to swell up even more and, and I think somehow from dancing and using it I ended up spraining it again. Originally when I heard it the first time I didn't go to the doctor. I just didn't think it was that serious. I felt like they were just going to tell me what I already knew that it was sprained and I needed to stay off it, put ice, you know, rest, let it heal. So it, it just didn't seem that serious. You know, I felt okay. I felt like I could deal with it. So I didn't go to the doctors until about a month after I heard it the first time. So at this point I had sprained it twice. I re-injured it. So I went, you know, I did an x-ray because I was concerned that it was broken. A lot of people, because of how bad it was, how swollen it was, and it started to, it started to bend. It wasn't bent this much yet, but it started to curve a little bit. So that, that kind of got me really concerned and I said, oh, you know, maybe it's dislocated or broken or something, but it, it didn't feel like it was broken because I was able to use it, you know, my range of motion and everything was good. I mean, it would hurt if I would overuse my hand or if I would bend it too much or if I put pressure, obviously, but you know, nothing, nothing crazy. So I go to the walk-in clinic, they do an x-ray. It wasn't broken. They said it looked like a pretty bad sprain. So from there, they referred me to an orthopedic. So the orthopedic referred me to a hand doctor. So I went and made an appointment and he looked at it. Um, he said that I definitely sprained it twice. It was, it was pretty bad, it was pretty swollen. And that because I left it, untreated for so long that's why it was starting to bend this way because what happens is you develop scar tissue and the scar tissue pulls so it's pulling my pinky in this direction so he did tell me that surgery is an option and that's quick it's a quick fix uh, but he did refer me to get physical therapy try that first see if that works if not then we'll consider other options so i did the physical therapy i did it for about six weeks and i didn't even think 
you know, out of all the dance injuries that I've had, um, fortunately, I've been okay. You know, I was able to heal and everything. I've had some pretty bad injuries. And of all the injuries that I've had, this is the one that I had to go to therapy for. I mean, there are other ones. I have dislocated my shoulder a few times, which I still may need to look into that. We'll see what happens in the future. So I went to physical therapy and my therapist was awesome. I really liked her, she was really cool. It did work, you know, she tried really hard. It just got to a point where it just, I wasn't improving anymore. It definitely helped heal. The swelling finally went down. I wasn't in as much pain anymore. I was able to use it, you know. Now she actually encouraged me like go back, dance, test it out, um, see how much you can use it. And I can use it, it's just, because it's stuck in this position now, it's it's uncomfortable. It just, it feels weird. Um, so she suggested that I go back to the hand doctor and I I agreed, I said, yeah, you know, it's it's been enough time, you know, let's go and see what he says. So I went back and um, he told me that surgery at this point would be the best option. I can leave it like this, but because of what I do, you know, my dancing and everything, it does, it does get in the way. I can definitely work around it, but there is an option to fix it. He said it's going to be pretty quick. It should only take 5 to 10 minutes, depending how it goes. And then afterwards, they're going to put probably a little brace or um, a splint. Just It just depends how it goes. They're going to put something just to hold my pinky in place so that it'll heal properly. Um, he did say that I probably won't be able to use my hand for about a month. That's how long the recovery should be, which isn't bad. I thought it would be worse. I thought that they would have to like break it to put it back, but he said they're just gonna break up the scar tissue. I mean, if I were awake, that would hurt. I'm not gonna be awake for it, but they're gonna just really put a lot of pressure to get it back to where it was before. I'm glad the recovery time is only gonna be a month because I thought it was gonna be longer. That's not too bad. I probably will need to go back to physical therapy after I'm healed just to get my range of motion back, but hopefully that won't take too much longer and I will definitely take better care of my injuries in the future. So yeah, basically that's what happened. That's how I sprained my pinky twice. It's gonna be fine, it'll be okay. I was frustrated for a while because I had to stay off my hand, but on the bright side, I did work on my creativity. I, it was something I could work around, so it forced me to like be more creative and just use my other hand, use my, my right hand is my dominant side, so I had to work on my left side more. And I actually made certain things stronger, so I did try to be a little more positive about it, but Anyway, that is my story for today. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.